Oh, he's executive director at Nivoma Institutional Equities. He's joining in. That's a fantastic wrap. Uh, Abneesh from Mangalam outlining what expectations are like. Uh, you know, as an analyst, uh, when uh, clients ask you, and uh, more, let me make that even more interesting, if uh, when hedge fund clients ask you what is the best way to uh, play, uh, you know, results, earnings for in that space, the consumer space, what do you tell them? What's the name which stands out? Yeah, thanks. Uh, definitely this quarter, uh, Nestle, Tata Consumer and Varun Beverages will stand out. Uh, these three companies will see double-digit sales growth driven by uh, volume growth and some bit of pricing definitely and double-digit EBITDA growth. Uh, the mid-tier performance will be from a lot of the other companies like Hindustan, Unilever, ITC, Dabur, Colgate, Imami, etc. And uh, Muted performance, so essentially weak performance will be from Britannia, Marico, Bajaj Consumer. What we have seen is uh, three things have happened this quarter. One, of course, because of the El Nino August saw 36% deficit. So rural demand is weaker than urban demand for most of the companies. And we have also seen, for example, urban focused retailers, for example, see better numbers on so Nika, DMAR, Titan, etc. Kalyan good numbers. Even for FMCG, second issue has been the festival demand shift, which will come back in Q3. For example, Asian Paint's strong margin recovery this quarter, but volumes will be weak. But we expect that in Q3, all paint companies should see double-date volume and double-date sales growth, definitely. And third, of course, is local players have come back in biscuits, soaps, hair oils, edible oils because of the commodity deflation. So overall, Q2, it's, it's a challenge in terms of demand. Some better recovery we do expect in Q3, Q4. And government stimulus programs because of the elections, that I would say will be a key uh, uh, key uh, monitorable. Mm. In terms of United Spirits, also the uh, trends will be weaker sure. in Q2 because of the Karnataka impact and festival shift, okay. Adik Mas, etc. Um, Abneesh, morning. One of the stocks you're underweight on or you're cautious on is Britannia, as you mentioned. You know, last quarter, the company reported not just a flat volume growth, but they also talked about how local competition has intensified quite a bit for them. And that is what put pressure on their operational performance. Uh, has there been any relief on that front? And what is your target price now on the stock? No, Britannia, in fact, uh, Q2 will be even weaker than the earlier quarter trends because it's a high base. Plus, we have seen because of the palm oil deflation, local players have come back. They're adding grame. They're giving a lot of price offs. This is a transitory mode. We would expect Britannia to come back in the Q3, Q4 with better numbers. Uh, we have a buy on Britannia from a one-year perspective. But yes, from a Q2 perspective, clearly Britannia will see slight normalization of margins also. In the previous two, three quarters, Britannia has seen good margin recovery on YOI basis. Slight recovery will still be there, but now it will be more of a measured improvement in margins. But yes, volumes and sales, Britannia should be muted. High base plus local place impact continues. All right. Uh, hi, Abneesh. Good morning. Uh, what about HUL? You know, that's again going through a phase of relative underperformance. You know, if I look at HUL and say the Nifty or even the FMCG uh, index itself, has been a relative underperformer. It's gone through these phases in the past and then it bounces back in style. What's the current call at around this 2,500 rupees odd? So, yes, uh, the downside is clearly limited. Uh, El Nino impact has definitely uh, made it uh, challenging for most companies. HUL has got 40% salience towards rural, which is on the higher side. We have also seen competition increase in soap, detergent, and uh, in foods. In the Horlicks part of the portfolio, we have also seen demand slowdown continue and uh, inflationary pressure is also there. So currently, we'll prefer Nestle, Tata Consumer, Godrej Consumer, Varun Beverages, Colgate, etc. Over a Hindustan Unilever, Hindustan Unilever will be more of a one-year call one would have to take. If Elino wouldn't have been there and if food would not have again become inflationary, HL could have played out. But that has become delayed because of these two factors, I would say. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, got it. You know, the, uh, your, uh, Abnish, your thoughts on uh, uh, Nika uh, specifically, I think you briefly alluded to it. Uh, again, huge underperformer. Is there any uh, any sense in looking at this in a constructive way or not yet? I would say yes, because uh, in Q2, beauty and personal care also uh, did quite well, 19 20% growth. Fashion was the key positive surprise. So what we are seeing is clearly a lot of the other competitors, e-commerce, etc., are focusing on more 
profitable, sustainable growth. So I would say, yes, clearly Q2 is looking good. Now in Q3, sustainability needs to be seen and festival demand should definitely help. This time festival demand has fully shifted to Q3. So I would say that, yes, uh, Nika uh, looking interesting because of the Q2 update. And that's what is common to a lot of the other retailers in Q2. Urban focused companies have done better. So Titan, Kalyan, Dmart, all have actually done a bit better than initial expectation, and that's true for Nike also. So Nike stock sustainability remains a question mark. So fashion especially, uh, but yeah, Q2 is a good performance, and stock should uh, do well in the near term because of that. Okay, and now we're heading into festive season as well, right? So Nike fashion perhaps could uh, perk up in terms of sales. Uh, do you track Zomato? No, that's done by our uh, e-commerce team. Okay, okay. Any other stocks that you track that, you know, you forgot to mention or you want to mention where there is perhaps scope for further growth? Yeah, I think broader consumption, we continue to like PVR, Z, uh, Sun TV, those three continue to uh, gain because of the festival advertising uh, spends also and uh, definitely consumer companies are uh, investing more. Uh, United Spirits, although Q2 growth trends will be a bit weak. Because of the FTA, UK FTA trade agreement likely at the end of this month, a uh, lot of news flow that uh, UK Prime Minister is coming. I think that will be positive for United Spirits definitely uh, if that deal happens. So that will that stock should do well uh, if that deal happens. Okay, and that's going to be a big one if it happens. Thanks very much, Abneesh. Appreciate you joining in and uh, running us through all of that uh, as always. You know,